All right, guys, what's going on? How are we doing today? Steve Mingle called Final Web Design. In today's video, I want to talk about the process that I follow when launching a website so I can help you when you're launching a website. So let's get into it. Final Web Design, this is Steve. All right, guys, so launching a new website, what is the process? A lot of people, this is a one-time thing that they do, or they're not, it's not something like a company like us where you're used to use, doing this every single day. So launching a new website has several steps that are going to help you ensure that you have a success and that you have functionality that works, that you have a good UI, that you have a good UX. That when people visit your business website, they really enjoy it, they like it, um, and things go good for them. So why don't we get into it? What's a process that I would follow? Is first you need to figure out what type of business. You need to define your website's purpose and goals. What are you selling? What are you? Is your service? What are you trying to promote on the internet? Um, you have to do a lot of research because you want to make sure that when you launch this, people engage with it. You want to look at your competition. You want to look at what other of the best websites in your market are so that when you get into this process of building your own website, you're able to really define your purpose and define your goals so that you can ultimately have a very successful website. So I just say the first thing is to define your purpose and goals, do your research and know what you're trying to, to get into here. Um, the second one is choosing a domain name. This can be a very complicated for some people and very easy for other people. Uh, for myself, I like to use domains like Final Web Design, Buy Online Fragrances, USA Grow Shop, things that have keywords in them that are then used in search and on Google, preferably, you know, English in my language, but whatever language uh, the domain name is going to be in, try to use keywords. And now Google will actually say from an SEO perspective, this isn't necessarily required. And it's not, look at some of the biggest websites, look at Google's, look at Amazon, look at Facebook. So they don't have the keywords, but if you're in a tight market, like say you're a Miami plumber, Having a keyword like Miami plumbing in the in the domain is going to help. But with that being said, you could still name your your plumbing company bills uh, bills dot com, and if it if it's plumbing and you do the right SEO, it shouldn't matter. But I like to have a few keywords in my domain uh, or the name of the business. Obviously, if you have a unique business name, try to get those domains. Now, the thing about domains is they can be very very expensive. Um, Depending if it's something that's already out there, depending if it's something that nobody's used before, these can be more or less expensive. So just make sure that when you're looking for your domain name, you try to find something that works for you, for your business, and get that as soon as possible because the longer you wait, the more chances are other people have occupied them or taken those domains. Uh, the third one, and probably one of the most overlooked when people are trying to build their websites, is selecting a good web hosting provider. Now, what does that mean? A hosting provider is basically where your website is going to continue to sit online all the time. So this is basically just a computer that is connected to the internet, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that, that that hosting company has the proper performance, the proper customer service, the proper um, you know newest technology, the fastest uh, servers and processors and things like that. So make sure that your web hosting provider is a good one. Now, this is something that we offer. We offer a very powerful web hosting. I know I'm going to preach in our services a lot, but we have a managed hosting where we'll basically manage the website. We do the security. We do the updates and upgrades. We do all these things for you as a website owner so that you don't have to. But with that being said, the third one is select a good hosting provider. And just to name a few, sorry to go back into that, but you have HostGator, Bluehost, GoDaddy, and there's several other out there, but uh, those are the big ones. All right, moving on. Number four is the design or the UI, the user interface of your website. This is where you either choose a good company or a bad company. A domain's a domain. A hosting, more or less, is a hosting provider. The design is everything. This is where people come and they see your website. The website design has changed a lot over the last 10 15 
even 20 years. If you think back to a website in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, there was no uh, responsiveness and things like that. Everything was very just kind of text-based. Maybe an image would be uh, uploaded to the web page. But it was very, very simple. There was no CSS to kind of design. There was no uh, user functionality like slides or uh, image galleries or buttons that hover and come back. I mean, all those things have kind of become new. So getting a good UI is incredibly important. This is where I recommend you go to a professional. Because even if you go out there and you select some type of your own uh, theme or it's still, that's the same thing that everybody else has. You want a unique custom one designed for your business. And even if you take those themes and kind of manipulate them to your colors and stuff, that does go a long way. However, still going through the design process of creating your own design in a Photoshop or Adobe XD or a Figma um, is a lot more professional and ultimately a much better design, a UI, a user interface going forward into the future. Uh, and you're going to want to keep make sure that you have a good UI because bounce rates, people leaving, people not converting, all these things are connected to the design of your website. So you just create a visually appealing, user when, user friendly website design. Consider the designers, consider your back end with the content management, and just hire a professional. This part is part that you're just gonna want a professional. You build it right the right time, you never have to do it again if you maintain it properly, or at least for the, the foreseeable future. Um, development. The next step five is to move into development. What is development? Development is the actual building construction of the actual website. Uh, most people are gonna be using CMS platforms like WordPress. Other people might be using more uh, application technology like React and Views and things like that. So I just say develop your website, you know, get the functionality all there. Make sure you test and troubleshoot and just make sure that the system, the website itself is working. So five is the development and even the testing. This is another part I just say recommend get professionals like us to take care of it. Because you can ultimately, once it's built, kind of manage the system. But you're just going to want something built so that you can at least get it to a point where you can go into my sixth point, which is add content. Now, adding content, adding pages, adding blogs, adding, you know, geographical targeted keywords like you're a Miami plumber and now you want to be a uh, Miami Beach plumber. So you kind of use those keywords to target different areas or a Hialeah plumber or Aventura plumber. You know, there's different areas that I could say to use your keywords by adding different content that's still to the geographic area that you service or to the product that you sell. So the, the sixth one there is to add content. Uh, high quality content is important. Get good, unique content that's not currently out there. Include text, images, videos, you know, other types of media. This really helps. Um, seven, and my personal favorite is SEO, search engine optimization. Always be thinking about your SEO, your search engine optimization. Implement those SEO uh, techniques such as uh, meta tags, meta descriptions, title tags, keywords, backlinks, bold, strongs, H1 tags. You know, it goes on and on and on. But get your SEO going because SEO is what's going to set you apart from your competition. A lot of these blue collar industries, a lot of these small local businesses don't have good SEO. So if you can really get yourself up there by implementing many of these SEO techniques, you should, you should see, um, you should start to see your return through more additional Google traffic and, and things like that. Number eight, set up some type of analytics, Google analytics, Google search council, Moz, uh, SEO, uh, there's a lot of them out there. Just get some type of analytic system installed on your website. So you have some metric to measure your, your business's growth, your business's success. Uh, and how things are moving forward, because ultimately you're going to want to track, you're going to want to uh, see that information continue to grow and move forward. You, without analytics, you don't have any way to to measure that, and the sooner you get it started, the better. Number nine, 
mobile responsive. This is where I go back to things that have kind of changed and now they're moving forward. Mobile responsive. So ensure that you can work with mobile devices, iPads, iPhones, Androids, different sizes. Um, so just ensure that as you're building this, you're using either some type of like CSS grid or bootstrap that is enabling your website to display differently. Like even if I close my browsers on my screen, things will, you know, respond differently to the different sizes. Also the big sizes, the bigger uh, displays that are out there these days. So just always ensure that uh, you are uh, ensuring that you have some type of mobile response built into your website. Uh, number 10, test your speed. This goes into kind of, I would include with SEO, but just quick website. If your website is taking longer than one, two seconds, a lot of people are going to leave. They're not going to sit there and wait. They're going to go to the next website that's responsive. So people's time is valuable. Get to them. Get the uh, get your website speed up to date. 11, security. Man, I can't tell you how many times even recently people have had their websites down. Nobody's updating. Nobody's maintaining. They're getting... Uh, database injections, they're getting uh, their data taken, they're getting fraudulent transactions, they're getting spammy backlinks and emails. I mean, the list goes on and on. And this stuff is only going more and more out of control as I've continued to work in this industry. So just be sure that you have some type of security, you're updating your website, maybe get like a site link, some type of malware checker that's going to uh, review and ensure that your website's quick. Now this one is not as important, number 13, or I'm sorry, number 12, but prepare, you know, any of your legal documents, privacy policies, terms and conditions, any of that type of stuff should be somewhere on your footer or copyright just to ensure that your website's up to par for things like Google. They like to see those things, especially if you're selling and promoting some type of services or businesses. Um, 13, when all this is done, launch it. Get that thing online. The sooner the better. You can always tighten things up. Uh, as the site's online, but because actually Google likes that because you get the site online and you go back, you add some more content, you go back, you add some more uh, pages, you go back, you link some social medias, and basically you are in a position where you have your website online, and that's that's the whole goal of all this. So, uh, which is into fourteen, promote your website. Uh, there's a lot of different social medias, email marketing. Uh, Google ads, you know, utilizing your SEO and your content. It goes on and on. And I can go into that topic in a whole nother video. But just start to promote your video. 15, the last one, monitor and improve your website. So continue to monitor through your analytics, through your CMS platform, the growth, uh, any type of user feedback that you're getting, any type of analytics, any type of experiences people are having with the website, use that information, improve, fix, make it better. You'll have the best website in your market. But guys, with that being said, just remember that launching a website is an ongoing process. You need to regularly maintain it. It's not a one-time, you're on and done type system. You need to be there to maintain and grow and see your website over the course of a few months, a few years, drive more traffic, drive more business, drive more people, and uh, that's the goal. Now, if you guys have or want any help following this process, I would say most individuals can do almost everything here except for the stage four and the stage five of designing and developing the website. That's the only part where I still recommend you hire a professional because there's just, that's the part where people can't build a professional. You want that output from people who do this all day, every day, because other people are gonna see this, whether it's hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people that visit your site, and you wanna give them the best experience of people who do this every day. But and if you want help with that, let us know. We'd love to help. Uh, guys, a like and subscribe, that would help us, and we will catch you in the next video. Take care and peace.